Welcome to today's chair practice. So get yourself set up in your favorite yoga chair. Find some place where you can kind of sit supported on your hips and feet are flat on the floor. And just take a second and recognize you made it. You've made this time for yourself. And we'll start with a breath. So bring one hand to your belly and the other hand to your chest. You can close your eyes here and just take a couple of breaths on purpose. Bring your attention into your body here. Just noticing how you're feeling in this moment. The invitation is always that you are in exactly the right place at exactly the right time. So just let that be an invitation to let your mind, let your attention be in your body here and see if you can let everything else take care of itself just for this little block of time. All right, so I'm gonna have you start with your hands together here and we're just gonna move the arms a little bit. On your inhale, you're gonna reach up toward the ceiling, pressing your palms together. And then when you exhale, bring your hands down that center line of your body. You can keep pressing your hands together. Let your palms come away. Maybe just get your fingertips to touch each other so you get that little stretch on your wrists. So the idea is when you inhale, it's like you're inflating, reaching up. Exhale, pulling it down. Getting that stretch at your wrists, your fingers. We're going to do two more. Now, if you're breathing faster or slower than me or you can't find your breath, just keep breathing. I'm going to do one more. And then let your arms come down by your sides. Go ahead and roll your shoulders a couple of times, listening to all the crunches. All right. And then shoulders stay down by your sides. Point your thumbs towards your legs here. Again, I want to get a little action through the hands. So see if you can press out through your palms as we do this one. You're just going to rotate those thumbs forward. Out to the sides and back, squeezing your shoulder blades together as you go. When you exhale, return to the starting spot, thumbs towards your legs. So if you can, press out through your palms. Spread those fingers wide as you do this little rotation. So we're getting hands, wrists. You might feel it all the way up your elbows, your shoulders, even your neck. I'm going to do two more. Again, you go at your speed. Maybe one more time. Inhale, rotating those thumbs back. Exhale, thumbs towards your legs. And then shake out your hands. Maybe wiggle your fingers a little bit. And then you're going to make loose fists with your hands. You can let your arms stay down by your sides. I just want you to be able to see. What you're going to do is rotate your wrists around, your fists around at your wrists. Go in both directions with your fist circles. And then again, wiggle your fingers. Feel that circulation all the way down through your hands. All right. So we're going to focus more on the spine for this next one. I'm going to give you the side view. Hands on your legs. Reach your hands out towards your knees. Pull in your belly button and round your back here. We're looking for that stretch along your spine. You can even tuck your chin. When you inhale, sit up tall. Let your hands come all the way up towards your hips, squeezing those shoulder blades together. And then when you exhale around your spine again, reaching out towards your knees. So inhale, squeezing those shoulder blades together, hands towards your hips. Exhale, round your back, reaching towards your knees. We're going to do two more. Okay, one more time. And then sit up tall and take a breath. Kind of feel that movement through your body. We're going to work our way down here. So focus your attention at your glutes now. And I'm going to invite you to do your hands and your glutes at the same time. All right. It's a little coordination today. So on your inhale, at the same time, you're going to clench both butt cheeks tight, squeezing your hands into fists. When you exhale, relax the clench at your fists. Relax your glutes. So if you can, again, like that inhale, clenching. Exhale, relaxing. Maybe notice if one butt cheek feels stronger than the other. <laughs> See if you have that awareness. All right. The next time you're clenching, I want you to keep clenching. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath here. See if you can just relax your right butt cheek. Spread the fingers of your right hand wide. And then clench everything. 
Make sure you're still breathing. Now we're gonna relax just that left side, spreading those left fingers wide, and then clench everything. If you can, again like that, just relaxing the right side, spreading your right fingers wide, and then clench everything, and then just relax the left side, and then clench everything, and then relax everything. All right, you can wiggle around in your chair a little bit. Just feel that circulation through your hips, your hands. And then we're going to work our way down to the legs. So what I want you to do here is just stretch one leg out in front of you. Doesn't matter which one. Heel stays on the floor. All you're going to do is point your toes and then flex your foot, pushing out through your heel. Just go back and forth a few times. Nothing fancy. Just kind of feel the muscles around your foot your calf, your shin, breathing however you want. All right, the next time you're flexing that foot, keep flexing your foot. You're going to rotate your toes and your knee out to the side. And then rotate your toes and your knee in toward the center. Don't push it. You don't have to go far for this. Really, we want the action to happen at the hip. So just feel that little rotation out and in. Again, breathing however you want. We're going to do it out to the side and back in. And then you're going to set that foot flat on the floor. Take a second, feel the difference from one side to the other. And then we'll switch legs. So stretch your other leg out, whichever the other leg is. <laughs> Heel stays on the floor. All you're going to do is point your toes and then flex your foot. Just go back and forth a couple of times. This is also a great way to take off your sock. So pay attention. Point and flex. That's what's happening for me. We're going to do one more. Point and flex, and then if you can, keep flexing. See if you can just rotate your toes and your knee out to the side, and then rotate your toes and your knee in toward the center. Go gently side to side. Remember, we're trying to get that action at your hip, so if you feel it in your knee or you feel it in your ankle, adjust. We're gonna do one more time, in toward the center, and then you should be even. Set both feet onto the floor, and then see if you can lift the toes of both feet, wiggle your toes a little bit, and set your toes back down. All right, so here's the deal. We're going to do both legs. Stretch both legs out in front of you. Your knees can be bent. Make sure you still have circulation. If you start to lose circulation, you can scoot forward on your chair. But maybe hold the seat of your chair, because what we're going to do is point the toes of both feet and then flex both feet. It might be just enough drag on the floor to pull you forward, so that's why we're holding the seat of the chair. Go back and forth a few times. Again, breathe however you need. And then you're going to flex both feet. You're pressing out through your heels. And then you're going to rotate your toes and your knees away from each other, clenching your glutes. And then relax the clench at your glutes. Rotate your toes and your knees together. If you want, you can open your feet wider away from each other to have a little bit more room, rotating out to the sides and rotating in toward the center. Again, your knees do not have to be perfectly straight for this. The action is at your glutes, at your hips. We're gonna do one more out to the sides and then back in toward the center. And then just try and get your knees and your toes to point toward the ceiling. Keep those knees bent and you're gonna walk your hands down your legs. Now, I want you to find a spot that feels comfortable for you. You can be anywhere on your legs. Just try not to rest at your kneecaps. You don't want the pressure at the joints, so either above or below. On your inhale, you're gonna lift through your chest, pulling your shoulder blades back and down. Try not to lift with your chin, lift with your chest. Exhale, pull that belly button in. You can round your back as much as you like here. So inhale, lifting through your chest. Exhale, folding forward. Now we're gonna add a piece. So as you inhale, lifting through your chest, drag your hands up towards your hips. You don't have to sit all the way up, but just reach towards your hips. And then when you exhale, you can round your back, reaching towards your feet, drag your hands down your legs. We're sneaking in a massage. So inhale, flatten your back, lifting through your chest, hands towards your hips. Exhale, folding forward, hands towards your feet. Maybe two more. And folding forward. Maybe one more time. The next time you're folding forward, you're gonna stay there, take a breath. And then slowly sit all the way up, take your time. 
As you come up to sitting upright, give yourself a minute. If the room is spinning, give yourself two minutes. All right. <laughs> We're going to do one more thing to focus on the hips. So once the room stops spinning, find your seat. Bring your feet close together. Knees are bent. Hands are on the outsides of your legs. On your inhale, you're just going to open those knees wide away from each other. You can push a little bit with your hands. Give yourself some resistance. On your exhale, you're going to bring those hands to the insides of your knees, squeezing your knees together. Again, if the breath is one too many things to worry about, just keep breathing. But we want the knees to go wide through resistance. Knees come together through resistance. When you do this, Remind yourself, you get to control how much resistance you give yourself. Let your legs win. I'm going to do two more opening wide and squeezing together. Maybe one more. And then squeezing together. Now open your feet just a little bit wider away from each other. Both feet flat on the floor to start. We're going to do a little hip stretch here. So what I want you to do is cross your right ankle over your left knee. Now, if this is not an option, you can always cross at your ankle. That works. Same position for your hip for the stretch. And then all we're going to do is spine stays tall. When you exhale, you're just going to lean forward that little bit. If you feel a stretch at your hip, great. If you feel it someplace else, maybe you're just tight there. That's okay, too. So exhale, leaning forward. Try and keep your spine tall here. Don't round your back. Inhale, sit up tall. See if we can do two more. Just that little lean. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely feeling that hip. Okay, one more time. And then you're going to sit up tall. Keep your ankle wherever it is. You're going to bring both hands to the outside of your right knee. And then just imagine you're bringing that right knee towards your opposite shoulder. So you're hugging that knee in towards your belly. If your belly's in the way, that's okay because we're pressing on that ascending colon. So this is good for your digestion. All right. So holding your bent or your right leg with your left hand. That was hard to say. Hopefully you figured it out. All right. Now we're going to move the right hand. So start by reaching your right hand forward. When you inhale, we're just going to reach out to the side and behind you. If you can, rotate that palm toward the ceiling as you go, and then bring your arm all the way forward. So reaching out to the side and back, and then coming forward. Again, breathe. Okay, we're going to do one more, reaching back, and then you're going to find a spot you can stay. Now, if you're holding onto your chair, that's fine. You just can reach out into space as well. Either way works. Keep that right knee pulling towards your opposite shoulder. So you feel that twist. Maybe even turn your chin to the right. You can even look out of the right corners of your eyes. Breathe easy though. All right, now you're going to untwist. Come out of this twist. Set both feet onto the floor. You might be feeling this hip flexor, this right hip flexor a little bit. So we want to stretch it out before we do the other side. I want you to scoot over to the right side of your chair just enough. You can hold the seat of your chair with your left hand and step that right foot back someplace that feels okay. See if you can find the stretch on that hip flexor. We're not doing anything else. What I want you to do is clench this right butt cheek while you're here. See if you can get that little bit of space on the front crease of your hip, maybe your thigh. Your knee is pointing toward the floor. If it's rolling out to the side, just tuck it in a little bit. All right. Now bring your feet together. You should feel a little crooked. <laughs> We're gonna do the other side. So again, you can cross your left ankle over your right, or you can bring that left ankle to your right knee. You choose, it might be different on this side. Legs are someplace comfortable that they can stay. Spine stays tall. When you exhale, you're just leaning forward that little bit. We're aiming for a stretch at your hip, but if you feel it someplace else, you might be tighter there. So exhale, pull that belly button in, just leaning forward. Try not to lead with your chin, lead with your chest. Inhale, sit up tall. We're going to do two more. Just that little tipping forward. It really doesn't take much. And then you're going to sit up tall. Bring both hands to the outside of your left knee. 
and pull that left knee towards your opposite shoulder. Feel your leg pressing into your belly. This is going through your descending colon. So we're getting that whole digestive track. All right, now you're gonna hold on to your left knee with your right hand. We're gonna move the left hand. Start by reaching your left hand forward and then reach around behind you. Just go as far as it feels okay. You don't have to force it. And then bring that hand forward. Again, like that, reaching around behind you. And then reaching forward. We're gonna do one more and then stay. So find the twist that feels okay. Think about bringing that bent knee towards your opposite shoulder, reaching back, turn your chin to the left. You can even look out of the left corners of your eyes, breathe and easy. Now untwist, come all the way forward, set both feet onto the floor, and then we're gonna take care of this left hip flexor. So you're scooting over to the left side of your chair, hold the seat of your, hand, of your chair with your right hand. I'll learn the names of stuff eventually. Think about pointing that left knee toward the floor. We're just looking for the stretch on that crease, the out, inside crease of your left hip. Think about clenching your left butt cheek while you're here. You don't have to get fancy. Arms can do whatever you need to feel balanced. Let's take one more breath right in this position. And then you're gonna bring both feet forward. Take a minute, feel your body. And then I'm gonna invite you to stand up because we're gonna do one standing thing today. Stand up however you can. And then you're gonna turn to face the seat of your chair. Now when you do this, I want you to bring your hands to the seat of your chair, but keep your weight in your feet so you're not leaning into the chair here. Weight are in your feet. And then all we're gonna do is when you exhale, you're gonna pull that belly button in, rounding your spine, tuck your chin. On your inhale, flatten your back, lifting through your chest. Go back and forth a few times. Exhale, rounding your spine, pulling that belly button in. Inhale, flatten your back, lifting through your chest. If you can, two more. One more time. All right, now find a spot where your spine feels neutral. You can bend your elbows a little bit more if you like. And then you're gonna bend your right knee a little bit more, pushing back through that left hip. Find the space, find the stretch that feels good. Weight is down through your feet, not your hands. Now bend your left knee, straightening that right leg just a little bit. Push your hips straight back. Take a breath. Let's do it again. Bend your right knee, straightening that left leg just a little bit more. One last time, switching. All right, now bend both knees slowly. Come up, and then we're gonna sit down. So the good news is you don't have far to go. Once you find that seated position again, take a breath. Bring one hand to your belly and the other hand to your chest. And just take a couple of breaths. Take a moment to notice how your body feels. Notice the effect of what you've done. Maybe give yourself a little pat on the back. Good work. I'm gonna say thanks so much for playing. Have a beautiful day.